Wow. Am I in heaven? No, my son. You are in the cloud. What, the cloud? Wait, you mean like where I store all my pictures and videos? Yes. You know, not everything needs to go in the cloud. By the way, your password? Way too easy to break. I don't want to be in the cloud anymore. Back in the day, we used computer hard drives, CDs, and even floppy disks to store our data. Nowadays, however, we have the cloud. Woo! The future. But what is the cloud? Or more importantly, where does all of our stuff go? Cloud storage is essentially a virtual locker where you can remotely stash any of your data. So are all of those cat photos just hanging around up in the sky? Mm, not quite. When you upload a file to a cloud-based service like Google Drive or iCloud, that file gets copied over the internet into a data server. Database servers are actual physical places where companies store your files on multiple hard drives. Most companies will have hundreds of these servers, known as server farms, spanning across multiple locations. So if one happens to get hit by an asteroid, you won't lose your data because it'll be backed up at another location. This is referred to as redundancy, and it keeps your data safe from being lost. Chances are you're already utilizing cloud computing if you use services like Gmail, which connects to Google Drive. Storage on Google Drive starts you at 15 gigabytes for free, but can be increased to as high as 30 terabytes for $300 a month. Services like iCloud, Dropbox, and Microsoft OneDrive offer similar monthly fees for higher storage capabilities. One huge benefit of cloud computing is that you can access data on any internet-capable device. And these days, what isn't connected to the internet, am I right? Also, remember a couple episodes ago when my computer exploded from that secret message I got? Hello, Armand. This message will self-destruct. Without the cloud, I would have lost all my files. Luckily, I backed up my hard drive the night before and was able to restore everything. Oh. <coughs> oh. Oh. This is getting really expensive. Of course, not everything is perfect, and there have been some problems with cloud storage in the past. In August 2014, a major iCloud hack led to the leaks of hundreds of private photos from various celebrities. Also, who could forget that terrible Cameron Diaz and Jason Segel movie? Ugh. However, cloud computing can be a great solution for freeing up space on your device, creating a seamless way to access your files, and a pretty good safeguard from the total destruction of your hardware. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, get your head out of the cloud. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you like about this show and what you want us to explain next.